right, everybody, this is Taylor here with ND Speed Control, and we're gonna do a range test on the 32S2P. Uh, we just got this board built the other day and haven't really taken it on a maiden voyage. Um, this thing has a Jet Fleet F6 on a Cannon Core V3 using a Fusion Core mount, and we have our 32S2P with a Smart Link. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking we're probably going to get around 40 miles of range today, but I don't really ride that fast, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to be tracking it on GPS and everything, and, and we'll just see how it goes. That looks like it might be the end of the trail, guys. How about you? I don't know how to go any further. That's too thick for me. All right, we have made it to the end of the trail and my legs are pretty tired, so we're sitting down and taking a break. Looking at my floaty app, we have gone 22.1 miles and the battery is currently at 59%. I wanted to show you guys a little bit about this board. First of all, pretty unique build we have two 32s 1p batteries one in the front and one in the rear we have a single bms that is running the entire system this is the smart link setup that we have at indy speed control there is no power button you can see there's nothing there there's nothing here to turn it on you just push to start and to turn it off we have a sleep timer set i think this one's set for 30 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, I can't remember. We have, instead of a foot pad sensor, we have a magnetic sensor. So as soon as I connect that, the board is on. And as soon as I remove that, the board is off. The way I tie it around my ankle, I take it just like this, and it allows me to use it just like a foot pad sensor. So I just put it up here and it auto locates. And then as soon as I go up, it's working and I just heel lift and it's back off again. And the charge port is right here, which is really convenient with the tech rails. It is using the other hole in the torque box. And so it's, without the tech rails, it's really difficult to plug it in, but with the tech rails, it's pretty easy to put your charge port in there. But there we go. We're gonna turn around and head back the other way.
All right, here we go, guys. We're pulling back up to the van. Let's see, we got 44 miles even. And we're still at about 100 volts. We got room to go. My feet and my legs are killing me. Oh my God, I can barely walk. Holy shit. What are we? It's almost settling up at 101 volts. And it says our range because we went past the estimated 40. It just says unknown. We don't know. We don't know how far you're going. 